all of those great things that made Rift the best MMO of 2011 are amped up in 2012. There's a ton of stuff that's going to be delivered day one out of the gate, but also a lot of space for future growth. You are a fantasy character going up against technology that is far beyond you. As far as the, the art, everything in general is just bigger and better. Instead of more high fantasy, we're getting some creatures that people have never even imagined before. You're going to see the, the quality level is going to rise. We're trying to bring in a new feeling to everything, not just the storyline and your gameplay, but we're trying to bring that into what the player is going to wear and how they look. What we're bringing to the table is two vast continents. One of them, Ravain, an ancient city of technology. And then Duskan is a very different looking place, extremely touched by the plane of death. We wanted to make the new continents not only have a better feel, but we wanted to have place to expand. When we focused in on what features were going to be in Storm Legion, we took the things that people loved the most, the zone events, instant adventure, conquest, onslaughts, and we've really kind of enhanced and focused on those things. We have raised the level cap, we're raising it to 60 now, 10 new levels to each of the souls, and then we threw another soul in on top of that as well for each of the callings. The Storm Legion are Krusha's army. She's been building them for a very long time and keeping them secret. Krusha is the dragon of air. That's really the focus of the expansion. She's trying to open the Infinity Gate. The Infinity Gate is an ancient artifact, and with it, her armies can take over the cosmos. She becomes a far more formidable foe than the players could ever have possibly imagined. The Triumph's full of some of the hardest working devs in the MMO space. We're not just some random game that you ship out and you're done. We're a service. We are constantly updating the game, and our past year has been kind of a crucible. The players are the ones who are here for the experience, and they're the ones who are invested in it emotionally. They're the reason we even want to make Rift.